So the top three things that I ask our clients to think about uh, before starting a self-managed super fund generally is the first thing, can my super fund, my current super fund, offer the things that I'm actually after? So for example, shares. A lot of the times I see clients uh, setting up self-managed super funds because they want control, the flexibility to buy and sell shares. There are plenty of super funds that will allow you to do that. The second question I ask them is whether they're prepared to offer the commitment and time to actually managing the self-managed super fund. There is a lot of cumbersome uh, paperwork and administrative work that comes with it. And the last question is usually around the cost. Am I prepared to pay for this additional flexibility? Again, if your current super fund allows you to do it, then you may not need to incur the additional costs. But if you tick all three boxes, then certainly the self-managed super fund may be right for you.